How's it going guys? Uh, this is going to be a response video about my uh, top five favorite death metal vocalists. Um, the thread was originally started by uh, Scourge of Vinyl. Um, I saw a couple other dudes do it. Um, Julian Gonzalez was one of them as well. And uh, yeah, um, I love death metal and uh, kind of wanted to put my uh, two cents in. So uh, as far as narrowing it down to five, it was kind of hard. So I was gonna, I'm just going to throw one out there that uh, didn't make my top five, but I think uh, if I could squeeze him in there, I could. And that's uh, Martin Van Drunen from uh, Pestilence, Asphyx, um, among a bunch of other projects he's been involved with. But um, I think most famously for uh, Pestilence, especially uh, the album Consuming Impulse, which is one of my favorite death metal albums of all time. Um, yeah, I just I really love his kind of percussive, like airy take of. Uh, take on vocals that he that he does and uh, yeah they're awesome um, yeah with that being said I'm just gonna start off with the uh, actual five that I came up with and at number five I've got uh, Barney Greenway from uh, Napalm Death um, yeah I'm just gonna be showing like a, a random album by each band with the uh, Vocals is featured on maybe one of my favorites. Um, I really like this album a lot. This is the uh, Live Corruption album. Um, came out shortly after Harmony Corruption, which is my favorite album by Napalm Death. And uh, this has most of that album performed live, along with the uh, a lot of the old school songs as well with Barney on vocals, which is pretty cool. Um, the thing I like about Barney, um, one of the main things I like about him is his stage presence and also his. Uh, his ability to perform the the vocals live as well not just he doesn't just sound good on the record but um, you know you, you listen to this record or you know watch old live videos and he sounds just like he does on the album so I think that's pretty important in any genre of music but especially with uh, death metal a lot of vocalists can sound kind of weak live I've noticed um, and that's definitely not the case with uh, Barney um, yeah I really like the uh, kind of like barbaric characteristic he, he gives to uh, his vocal style. Uh, definitely very unique and uh, you know I, I know a lot of uh, Napalm Death fans are torn as far as like there's they, they like the uh, old school stuff with like Lee Dorian on vocals and, and whatnot but uh, to me I think Barney's the, uh, the better vocalist all around and um, as far as Napalm Death goes, I, I like their style a little more when they went in, in more of a uh, death metal direction. So yeah, uh, that's number five, Barney Greenway. Alright, number four. Um, I think is a, he's an underrated vocalist in my opinion. And that's uh, Luke LeMay from Gorguts. Um, I'm mostly a fan of Gorguts' old sound. You know, but as as far as his vocals go, um, you can listen to any of the Gorgas records, including the newer stuff, and you know his his vocal style is just crushing. And uh, I think uh, he's just got one of the best voices in death metal, and I don't think he gets talked about enough. You know, um, Gorgas' first two albums, this is their first one considered dead, and the uh, second album, The Erosion of Sanity, are two death metal classics in my opinion, and. Uh, yeah, just a uh, really powerful vocalist, um, really good stuff. Alright, at number three, it's going to be uh, Chuck Schuldiner, obviously from Death, and uh, this is my favorite um, Death album, which is Human, and uh, I like this album a lot, especially his vocals on this album, because I think this is the last album where his vocals were still really deep, but before they started to change a little bit. Um, so it's kind of like the best of both worlds, that you still get the really like um, technical and progressive side of death, but um, you still get that old school uh, vocal sound from Chuck, which is re really cool. A couple al other albums I really like his vocals on are uh, Leprosy and Spiritual Healing. Um, yeah, I just, I love his voice, um, obviously he's one of the innovators of the style, but um, I also think that he went on to kind of perfect it too, so, yeah, I mean, you can't, you can't beat Chuck Schuldiner, and uh, 
just kind of how evil and eerie he can make his voice sound at some times. Alright, uh, number two. This was pretty close to being my number one, but uh, I had to I had to make I had to choose between the two, so if, if I could draw a tie I would, but anyways, I'm just gonna go on with it. This is number two. Uh, Mike Ackerfeldt from Opeth. Um, okay, I know that Opeth is probably not always going to be the most, uh, I don't know, respected band in the death metal community, especially amongst like purists and stuff, but I don't really care because to me Opeth um, takes death metal to a whole new level and uh, you know, I really like uh, Michael Ackerfeld because to me he's got some of the best death metal growls in all of death metal. Um, some of the just the most meanest and most evil growls sometimes. Um, and then he can just switch to like some of the best clean vocals in my opinion. So um, yeah, this is uh, one of their most popular albums, uh, Blackwater Park. I think this came out in 2001. Yeah, 2001. Um, excuse the glare crappy sleeve but uh yeah this is a really good example of uh when he was probably peaking in his vocal style as far as his growls go i would say this album and uh, deliverance are some of his best uh growling vocals um he has he, he was also in uh bloodbath for a while too and um did did uh vocals for them as well which is an old school death metal band um, so yeah, um, very awesome vocalists. Um, highly recommend you guys to check Opeth out if you haven't, especially if you haven't checked them out just because of, you know, whatever stigma they get within the metal community sometimes. Alright, and last but definitely not least, um, John Tardy from Obituary, obviously. Um, Favorite album from them being Cause of Death. This was the album that really got me into obituary. I got slowly rewrought before this, um, back when I was younger, but once I got this album, uh, this is when I really became hooked on obituary. And uh, I think John Tardy, he has one of the most unique voices in all of death metal, um, and probably some of the most like just insane, evil sounding vocals sometimes. I mean, it's, it can be kind of scary, especially on this album. Um, his vocals really add an atmosphere um, to the music which already has a pretty eerie vibe to it and it just fits with the music so well um, I really like the way he accentuates things um, you know when when you know riffs are changing and there's you know timing changes and whatnot you know and he, he does like just different uh, vocal you know whatever you want to call it but um, yeah, very obviously well known um, and popular in the death metal community, but I think it's with good reason. Um, just like Chuck Schuldner, you know, it's sometimes people might say it's uh, you know stereotypical or whatever to pick certain uh, bands and vocalists and whatnot, but um, I think they definitely earned their reputation, reputation and uh, you know the right to be considered one of the greatest so yeah great stuff and then you know and John Tardy's awesome too because um, to this day he still sounds really good and you know I've seen them live a few times and I, last time I saw him live was probably about a couple years ago and he still you know he can't get the uh, that really low guttural voice anymore but you know he still has it and uh, that's saying more than you can for a lot of uh, you know death metal vocalists. I mean, he's been doing it for at least 30 years now, and he can still do it. Dude's in his 50s, or around there anyways, probably close to late late 40s. So uh, yeah, definitely my uh, all-time favorite uh, vocalist, and this just happens to be my all-time favorite death metal album. So uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to. Uh, participate and uh, do something different for once and um, I'm also thinking about doing a couple other other genres as well you know maybe my favorite uh, thrash vocalists because thrash is my favorite genre and uh, maybe a couple other ones too 
so uh, yeah, let me know what you guys uh, think and what your favorite vocalists are, and uh, you should get, do your own response video as well. All right, take care.